Today, I use candy to try to bribe my students to like crystallography. So basically, it didn't work as well as I'd hoped, but you can think about when an x-ray hits a molecule and it's going to kind of, the electrons in that molecule are going to interact with that wave and scatter it. And this is going to produce a kind of like new wave, a little mini wave. And that's gonna happen for each of the different um, atoms that that electron, that the x-ray runs into. And you don't just have one at a time, you have lots. And when these interact, basically all those little ripples are going to add together and give you this kind of mega wave and then what scientists do is they find the position, they use a detector to figure out when that mega wave, when those ripples are hitting the detector. They can then, using math called a Fourier transform, work backwards from that position where they detected that, that wave, that mega wave, and then use a Fourier transform to basically figure out the positions, of the, the, each of the little waves, each of those mini waves that was given off, they can figure out from the, from the mega wave, they, Position, the information about each of those individual waves, which had the information about the positions of each of the different atoms in the molecule. Um, because each of the, the electrons in each of those atoms is what's contributing to this big mega wave. Unfortunately, there's this piece of information we're missing, which is called the phase. Um, so basically we can measure like where the thing hits the detector, where that wave hits the detector, we'll get like a spot. And we can figure out how strong that spot is, but we can't figure out kind of like when the, when the when it hit the spot when it hit the detector exactly. We don't know like whether it was an up in or a down part of the wave. We don't know its phase, and so we have to use methods like molecular replacement and heavy metal soaking and heavy atom incorporation in order to try to get that information. Because to get the information about the real um, the positions, we need the to re fully reconstruct that wave. We need both the phase and the amplitude, and we can only directly measure that amplitude. And that is the phase problem.